Hello and welcome for China Solved. I'm Andrew Hubert, and this is the China Negotiator, episode twenty-seven. I want to say, dueling narratives. The trade war we're in is already taking on a life of its own, and I don't think it's going to be ending any time soon. The U.S. view, the the view that U.S. decision makers have, is that it's all about economics, and it will be over soon. China cannot resist U.S. economic power. The Chinese view is that this is an existential threat. It's something we've、uh, survived and overcome before, and this little spat is just the latest. Let's look at each one of those in a little bit more detail. This is already a big deal. It's it's big. It's potentially dangerous. Uh, and the divergence between the the stories that each side is hearing, which we'll soon start referring to as propaganda, it means that there are both threats of conflict, but there's also opportunity for above average decisions, above average returns. Western media just isn't reporting on this well.、Uh, some of the numbers and scenarios they're talking about the mechanisms for Chinese decision making for, Ch- for Chinese government power. That the stock market is somehow going to put pressure on the government to make concessions, I, I, I don't see it making any sense. China, on the other hand, is treating this like a non-issue, or is treating it like、uh, an act of war that is not related to the economy in any way. So, circling back to the、uh, U.S. view, U.S. decision makers are being told that, that this will be over quickly and at almost no cost to the U.S. economy, especially to to them. Washington has taken to vilifying China on multiple fronts.、Uh, there's going to be a show of force in the South China Sea.、Uh, it, it happens after this recording, but by the time you hear this, it's already happened. I hope it went well. And accusations of spying, and all this feeds the news cycle in the U.S. So support for、uh, for Chinese, anti-Chinese、uh, economic measures are fairly broad. But fairly thin,、uh, I think. I, I don't think that Americans are prepared for things like inflation and loss of markets,、uh, or really any cost whatsoever. I, I don't think the U.S. consumer market has been briefed on this. So here's the kind of thing that U.S. decision makers are reading:、uh, U.S. pivots to China with NAFTA deal in hand, and they、uh, are finding that they are walking into China with、um, an, an active negotiation. That, that's how it's being portrayed in the U.S. That this is an active, ongoing conversation, and the U.S. is in a strong position because of recent deals in Canada, I think. And、uh, they have wheeled out Gordon Chang. Who wrote the the coming collapse of China in two thousand and one? And、uh, Gordon Chang loves、uh, any bad news for China, and Fox News loves Gordon Chang. So there he is. The Chinese view: this is just one little spat. It's driven by one selfish man, and China is standing up for sovereignty and dignity、uh, for the Chinese people and global free trade for everyone. And among Chinese decision makers, there there doesn't seem to be any real sense of panic or need to compromise.、Uh, this is what the Chinese media looks like. The U.S.-China trade spat is harming third parties, and that's become a thing of theirs.、Uh, they're really concerned about other, you know, the,、uh, the ramifications in the market.、Uh, in the in this,、uh, South China Morning Post,、uh, Singaporean firms embarked on a global acquisition spree. So China is really concerned about what's happening throughout the supply chain. Final word: we're, we're in this now, and it could last a while. So, even though we have no clear sense of how this moves forward or when this moves forward, I would say that even if tariffs are lifted tomorrow, it's not going to really repair the relationship, and you've got to play a little defense out there. And this could be good news for people who are willing and able to build new supply chains, possibly within China, but very possibly outside of China、uh, in other parts of Asia. And that's something we'll talk about in the future. Thanks very much for China Solved. This has been Andrew Huber. Talk to you again soon.